And indeed, just today, oil prices ended lower once again in a choppy session despite a midday rally. Domestic crude fell more than $2 to $46.25 a barrel. Brent crude fell a dollar, settling at $47.67 a barrel. And that trend in lower, lower oil prices is really sending shockwaves to oil-producing regions of the U.S. and throughout the entire Canadian economy, sparking fears about a slowdown in real estate, bank earnings, and in trade with the U.S. Brian Sullivan has more from Toronto. There may not be oil here in Toronto, but it seems to be the one thing that everybody is talking about. Because while there is not a drilling rig in sight, Concern about the larger impact of the oil shock has the city on edge. Toronto is one of the leading financial centers of the world. And the banks that are based here rely on the oil companies for a big part of their earnings. This is a macro economic story. The banks in Canada have $55 billion of economic exposure to the oil and gas industry. If you've looked at the Canadian bank stocks, they've been negatively affected significantly. There's concern that if bank earnings fall, lending and the broader economy may also take a hit. Because while oil, gas and mining make up just between 8 and 10 percent of Canada's total economy, industries such as real estate, manufacturing and construction represent a far larger piece. And there is real concern those sectors could also be impacted. Canada is totally reliant on the natural resource sector. 25% of all of the Toronto Stock Exchange is represented by resource stocks, specifically oil and gas. All of the growth of employment in Canada was represented by Alberta. Alberta will probably go into uh, negative GDP growth. There are so many other businesses that are suppliers to the oil and gas sector are negatively affected. So this is, has far reaching. We are an, a natural resource economy in Canada. What happens here matters to the US. Canada is America's largest trading partner, accounting for about 17% of all American exports. So if we see a slowdown here, it could take its toll on American companies selling into Canada. And it is just another reminder that the oil story, though early in the year, is the defining economic story of 2015. For Nightly Business Report in Toronto, Canada, I'm Brian Sullivan.